good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and let's talk about adding subtracting rational expressions with common denominator. So, paano nga ba tayo mag-add or subtract ng rational expressions with common denominator? So, first step natin is for us to add or subtract the numerators. Then, we retain the common denominator, tapos we simplify if possible. So, if ever we have A over C and B over C, pagka in natin sila, as long as they have the same denominator, okay, we can just add our numerators or subtract our numerators and then copy our denominator. As long as our denominator is not equal to 0. So, let's have some examples in adding subtracting rational expressions with common denominator. Alright, let's add this to rational expressions. So, we have 5x over 9y and 13x over 9y. So, ang gagawin natin, since pareho sila ng denominator, kopyahin natin yung denominator, 9y, and then add our numerator. 5x plus 13x, that will give us 18x. Okay, tapos let's try to simplify them. So, yung factors na 18, meron siyang 3 times 3 times 2 times x, and yung factors ni 9y, we will have 3 times 3 times y. Ayan. Now, since meron silang mga common factors sa numerator and denominator, we can cancel them. So, cancel si 3. And wala na tayong makakancel. We will just copy the numerator. We will have 2x and our denominator, which is y. So, our final answer will be 2x over y. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this item. So, we have 6x minus 4 all over 3x minus 6 plus 3x minus 11 over 3x minus 6. So, ang first step natin is we copy the denominator since pareho sila. We will have 3x minus 6 as our common denominator. Then, let's add our numerator. So, since we have an algebraic expression in our numerator, we will add like terms. So, 6x plus 3x, that will be 9x. Negative 4 plus negative 11, that will be negative 15. Tapos, let's simplify this rational expression. Yung numerator natin, pwede natin siyang i-factor. We will have 3 times the quantity 3x minus 5. And yung denominator natin, pwede natin siyang i-factor din. By getting the common factor, we will have 3 times the quantity x minus 2. Now, since may common factor sila na 3, we can cancel them. Tapos, we copy the remaining factor. So, sa numerator, ang natira is 3x minus 5. Sa denominator, ang natira is x minus 2. So, the sum of these two rational expression will be 3x minus 5 all over x minus 2. And that's it! Tara! Alright! Okay, let's add these two rational expressions. So, since pareho sila ng denominator, we can copy the denominator to x plus 7 and then add the numerators. So, let's perform combining like terms. So, 10x plus 15x, that is 25x. Tapos, 3 plus 11, that will be 14. Now, let's try to simplify this. Okay, so, kung hindi na natin siya pwedeng masimplify, then this will be our final answer. So, the sum of these two rational expression is 25 plus 14 all over 2x plus 7. And that's it! Tada! Alright! Okay, let's subtract these two rational expressions. So, we have 8a all over 2a squared minus 4a minus 14a all over 2a squared minus 4a. So, ang first step natin is to check our denominator. So, since pareho sila ng denominator, we will now copy the denominator and then combine our numerator. So, 8a minus 14a, that will give us negative 6a. Tapos, isimplify natin tong rational expression natin. So, let's try to factor them. So, yung numerator natin, i-factor natin, that will give us negative 1 times 3 times 2 times a. Tapos, yung ating denominator, since it is a polynomial, we can factor this using common monomial factoring. So, ang common factor ni 2a squared and ni negative 4a is 2a. So, factor out natin si 2 times a. Ang matitira is si a minus 2. 
Now, we can cancel the common factor. Yung common factor natin is si 2 at si A. So, anong matitira sa ating numerator? It is negative 1 times 3. That will be negative 3. And yung sa denominator natin, ang matitira is A minus 2. This will be their difference, negative 3 over A minus 2. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay. Let's subtract these two rational expressions. So we have 4x minus 3 all over x squared minus 16 minus 2x plus 5 all over x squared minus 16. Now, pag i-co-combine natin to, since pareho sila ng denominator, we will copy the denominator, x squared minus 16, and then subtract our numerator. So 4x minus 2x, that will give us 2x. Tapos negative 3 minus 5, that will be negative 8. So, nasubtract na natin yung ating numerator. Our next step is for us to simplify our rational expression. So, since pwede pa natin i-factor si numerator at si denominator, let's try to factor them. So, si numerator, pwede natin siyang i-factor using common monomial factoring. So, ang common factor nila is 2. So, factor out natin si 2. At yung other factor niya is x minus 4. Tapos si x squared minus 16, ang factor niya, we can factor this using difference of two squares. So we will have x plus 4 and x minus 4. So we can cancel the common factor, x minus 4. And anong matitira? Sa numerator, it will be 2. Sa denominator, it will be x plus 4. And that will be our final answer. It will be 2 over x plus 4. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's subtract these two rational expressions. So we have x squared plus 15 all over x squared minus 9x plus 18 minus 6x plus 6 all over x squared minus 9x plus 18. So, para ma-subtract natin tong dalawang rational expression natin, our first step is to check if pareho yung ating denominator. And since pareho yung denominator natin, kopyahin natin yung ating denominator x squared minus 9x plus 18 and then combine our numerator. So, take note that the operation is subtraction and we will be performing combining like terms. So, we have x squared minus um, since walang partner siya na x squared so that will be x squared minus 0 that will be equal to x squared. Tapos, we have 15 minus positive 6 so, since like terms sila, pwede natin siyang i-combine. So, 15 minus 6, that is positive 9. And then, yung ating 6x, since wala siyang partner, so this will be 0 minus 6x, that will be equal to negative 6x. So, take note ha, pag wala silang partner, we will perform the operation with 0. So, for example, x squared minus 0, since walang 0 dito sa second numerator natin. That's why we have x squared. Tapos dito naman, si 6x, since walang x dito sa ating first numerator, so it will be replaced by 0. So 0 minus 6x, that will be equal to negative 6x. Okay? Then let's simplify this. So let's simplify our numerator and denominator by performing factoring. So, let's apply factoring sa numerator natin. It can be factored using perfect square trinomial factoring. So, yung factors niya will be x minus 3 and x minus 3. Yung denominator natin, quadratic trinomial case number 1, factoring. So, yung factor niya will be x minus 3 and x minus 6. So, since may common factors tayo, we can cancel them. And ang natira will be x minus 3 all over x minus 6. And that will be our final. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.